welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. I'm super excited because today we're doing something a little more different than what we have done in the past. I am heading down um, south of Houston to film with a very special lady, a lady who's very close to my heart as she was in my care for some time. We are going to hang out with a lovely King Cobra owned by a buddy of mine whose name is Peanut. Now, Peanut is a not very sweet King Cobra, um, so I'm hoping it'll be quite an interesting episode because um, I have no idea how she'll react to seeing me. So, I think it'll be fun. Maybe you'll learn some stuff about some King Cobras, and maybe we'll just have a jolly old time. But um, we're on our way now. We're about 20 minutes away, and then we're going to get right to it. So let's get on the drive. Okay. All right, everybody, check this out. Look at this absolutely stunning King Cobra. This is a female Malay Indo, right? Yes. Malayan Indonesian King Cobra. You're okay. You're okay. You know, she's a little, uh, she's a little embarrassed. She hasn't been on camera and she hasn't been outside. Take a look at this animal. So what she's doing there, she's rearing up and she's got her mouth open. She's letting me know she means business. So we get her over here. Peanut. Now she's interested in getting away. Again, not a very confrontational snake. It looks like she's coming towards me, but she's just trying to get in between my legs back into the grass behind us. Take a look at this snake. You're okay. Let's see if we can get it. Up. Oh, there we go. There's some hooding. So see that? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, girl. <laughs> Trying to bite my boot. Now, a lapids um, have very short fixed fangs in the front of their mouth, which is why I'm able to do this um, because their fangs are not long enough to penetrate through into this leather. Oh, thank you for musking on Take me. Take a look at this snake. Hi, girl. You're okay. Look at that. She's just growling and hissing. She's saying, I was happy inside. I was happy in my enclosure. And now you are making me angry. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Take a look at that banding all the way across the body. Hi. I know, you haven't seen me in a while, huh? You're okay. Oh, nice, some, some musking action. She's defecating on Gage to let her know she means business. Almost worse than her bite. I know. Hey, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that would've been a great oh. shot. Here, come over on this side and we'll see uh, if we can replicate that. She came at me with her mouth open and everything. She said, hey, stop it. Oh, she's got her mouth open. Hey, I know. I know I'm irksome. <laughs> Look at that. She is not happy. Oh, I know, girl, I know. I know, I know, you're upset, I know. You're not a big fan of me, are you? Beautiful snake, look at that hood. Now the genus of these snakes, again, is Ophiophagus. And what that means is snake feeder. They are almost entirely feeding on snakes throughout the entirety of their lives. Oh, I know, I know, you don't like the hook. I would use my hands, but I'm positive you would bite me. Oh, I know. Now, what's really interesting is to see the difference between um, me being around this snake and then Gage, her owner, being around her. Because she's very used to him, and um, she's not going to act in the same sort of defensive way as she's going to act with me. Um, once again, showcasing just how intelligent these animals are and how easily they can not only make decisions, but even recognize people um, that they base those decisions on. Oh, look at that. Come in close for that. You gotta get some pictures oh, of that. Oh, yeah. Look at that mouth. I know. I know you're upset with me. Oh, ho, ho. 
it's okay. We're just gonna film with you. You can see those fangs in there. See how small they are? Very short, very short, just in the roof of the mouth, here and here, and that glottal, that tube that's opening and closing, that is her, essentially her, her tube that runs right down to her lungs. So she's making a sound, she's breathing inside and outside. Listen to that. I know, girl, I know. You're so shy, but look at this beautiful snake. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning snake. Oh, she's doing so good, I know. Oh, girl, girl. Girl, you're okay. Guys, check this out. So see what she's doing? She's focusing on this snake hook here which is an adaptation a ton of cobras actually use, even though king cobras are not technically true cobras. Hi, I know. Um, now she's focusing on me. Um, now what they're doing is they fixate on a point, and that's what they are trying to intimidate with that hood. So although these animals are venomous, um, their venom is actually primarily in use for procuring prey. Um, they really only use it in defense if they absolutely have to. Their main defense is gonna be intimidation. So she's trying to intimidate me. And she is, I will admit, very intimidating. But take a look at this absolutely gorgeous snake. I know, you're so pretty. Look at that. I'm actually gonna grab my camera real quick and get a shot of that just head on. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. Absolutely stunning. So inquisitive, <laughs> quick to defend herself if she feels like she needs to. Hey girl. Oh, such a stunning species. Take a look, just the girth, the weight of this snake is anything but unimpressive. Oh, I know, I know. You've calmed down quite a lot, huh? Take a look at this snake, guys. Beautiful snake. Probably my all-time favorite species of snake to work with. They're just so rewarding, so intelligent, so inquisitive, and so famous, right, girl? Oh, I know. I know. You're getting frustrated with me. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just here to put you on on the TV. It's all right, Peanut. Amazing snakes. Amazing snakes. I know, you're getting frustrated with me, I get it. So these snakes are native to Southeast Asia. Um, hold on, I'll wait for that motorcycle to move These snakes are native to Southeast Asia, um, where they inhabit a variety of habitats. Um, okay, really the only things these snakes are dependent on is a place to hide and a place to hunt other snakes. Um, this is a juvenile female. Typically with king cobras, the males are actually going to be the larger of the two. Again, an example of sexual dimorphism. The males and females have different attributes than one another. Take a look at that snake. Is that not the most beautiful snake you've ever seen? She's just running around in the grass here, not being super photogenic. Oh, there she goes. No, you don't want me to hold you up too high, right? I gotta make sure I keep an eye on her. She's been feeling extra feisty today. I'm gonna focus on you.
absolutely spectacular. Absolutely gorgeous snake. Look at her. Look at her. Amazing snake. Well, I think we've bothered her enough for today. She's absolutely stunning. A little temperamental, but that's to be expected. When you are woken up, taken outside in front of a busy highway, just for some stupid YouTube video. But uh, she's, uh, she's one of my favorite uh, species of snakes and honestly, one of my favorite individuals. Um, this snake was in my care for a few months while her true owner was away. And I was able to feed her, give her water, give her a goodbye kiss. Her owner finally came to pick her up to give her her goodnight kisses every night before bed. Absolutely amazing snakes. Um, again, not a species to take lightly should she bite me. Uh, it's very realistically life-threatening, um, even if I was able to get a hold of anti-venom in a timely fashion. So we're gonna let her get on her way. We thank her very much for her service and for being somewhat cooperative. Once again, King Cobra, King of the Snakes. Absolutely stunning. Wow, 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 look at that, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, look at that, wow. Gorgeous snake. Well, thank you very much. Give her a nice kiss. Tastes like nice and musky. But we had a great time with her. We're gonna let her get back to her enclosure. If you guys wanna learn more about King Cobras, I have two more super in-depth King Cobra episodes. And I encourage you guys to go and watch those. I'll attach them somewhere in the video and in the comments. And I know this video's loud, but this is what we gotta work with today, people. So be excited you got to see King Cobra. And just as excited as she is to see me. Um, be excited you got to see King Cobra and be excited that you got to check out a really cool video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about it, your family about it. Um, if you want shirts like the one I've got on, they're available on Amazon. The link is in the description. So anyway, thank you, Miss Peanuts, for being so lovely and wonderful. And thank you, viewers, for being so lovely and wonderful as well. Okay, beauty. Love you, bye.